Hello, everyone. My name is Wendy, and I had a question for you all. What is usually your most pressing concern when you visit a hospital? For me, I usually, hospitals, they freak me out. So I usually gain inner peace in the knowledge that the doctor knows what he's doing. But then, what if he doesn't? <laughs> this is Africa now. There is poor infrastructure and limited training facilities and tools, such as cadavers and laboratories, making healthcare practitioners uh, not, sorry, making healthcare practitioners learn, work, and train under difficult conditions. As a result, this also contributes to the ratio of one to five surgical complications and one to 10 surgical deaths. Let us sink in. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine a revolutionary or make-believe solution that transcends geographical boundaries and transforms the way healthcare practitioners train and enhance their skills. We, as MediXR, are offering a cutting-edge platform that aim to address the challenge of limited training facilities and the need for improved skills in medical field. Taking a look at our solution features, we have two ready features, namely anatomy room and surgery room, and three other features that are currently in development, namely multi-user room, AI learning system, and surgery recordings lab. Diving deeper into our ready features, we have the anatomy lab. Here the user is able to learn about the different parts of the human body and their functions through different virtual scenarios. While surgery room, here the user through the simulated surgery, surgeries, the user is able to practice the surgery skills and enhance their real life surgery skills. And to ensure the feasibility of our idea, we made research and did a pilot test with more than 100 users. And to, okay, after the test, most of them gave the similar comment whereby they found this to be interactive and engaging and they couldn't wait for it to be on the market. And also with our research, we are able to find that this solution is expected to grow at a fast rate of 26.88% at a value of $19.6 billion. We have segmented our target market into three categories, ranging from medical institutions, health professionals, to medical students. And our searchable, obtainable market is made of more than 23,000 healthcare practitioners in Rwanda. But then again, before going further, let's first see how we're differentiating ourselves from the rest of the competition. We are setting ourselves apart through our affordability and large content library. And here, I also have to mention that we're the only African company in healthcare education just right now. Taking a look at our business model, through our headset financial we are planning to deliver our value to the customers and by means of subscription fees with the annual subscription fees being $200 and the monthly subscription fees being $20. We'll be reaching out to our customers by targeting medical associations and other health professionals communities by means of social media, partnerships, collaborative workshops, and pop-up VR experiences. Revenue-wise, this solution is expected to be worth $85,000 in year one and $3.6 million in year five after expansion plans. Taking a look at the team, we have a variety of roles here. And to mention a few, we have a 3D artist, UI AX designer, and an AI engineer. And for the advisory board, we have a business expert and four advisors. This solution has been acknowledged by many institutions. We have Meta, ARV Africa, and LX. As a result, we are able to raise $25,000. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wendy, for using your time wisely. Judges, the floor is all yours.
Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Clement, over to you. Uh, thank you, Alice. Um, would you tell me how you design a simulation? I'm not understanding if like, the VR allows for 3D video that shows someone how some operation go, or if they interact and do something. But if they interact, what's the process to, to adding a new simulation? A surgery of one thing, let's say a tooth, or a surgery that's more complex? How, how do you? Yes, so here, because we are solving the problem of limited training facilities, what we did here is providing actual virtual training facilities. And what we do, we replicate the whole thing that is real into the virtual reality headsets. And having a partnership with King Faisal Hospital to go through the various medical uh, procedures and ensure that we are on point and we are following what is needed to add additional value to the customers.